is a level of prayer that needs to be done for that nation because there will be delays in the election. There will be delays. There will be delays for some days. And it will cause a lot of anxiety in the nation. It will cause anxiety as some will speak about the problem of counting and turbulences and all of that. Now, the most important thing that I'm here to emphasize, because I've already spoken about this, is that I keep seeing that there is going to become a level of contention that is going to happen specifically in delaying the election. Though I've spoken about the after effects of the election, but I'm saying to you that God is more focusing on the effects that are trying to block what God wants to do. Meaning, if the results will be delayed, but eventually the Lord will become the one who is victorious in the whole story. But the people of Nigeria, even after the election, they will have to pray. Now to Stephanie Busari live in Lagos, Nigeria. Stephanie, uh, Nigerians brave long delays to vote. Has there been a lot of voter frustration? Yes, um, unfortunately, Leila, um, we did get a lot of reports about this. It must be said that the, post, the uh, voting passed relatively peacefully across the country but uh, and in the polling units that we did visit, but we did start to hear widespread uh, kind of uh, complaints about delays. Some polls didn't open until many hours after the polls voting was supposed to start. Uh, there were some, uh, it, was, it was a festive atmosphere, but unfortunately some reports of uh, allegations of voter suppression, people were being uh, asked not to come in if they were going to vote for a certain party, that these allegations, we haven't confirmed them. Hello and welcome to TVC News This Hour. We'll begin in the nation's capital where the Independent National Electoral Commission moment ago announced the suspension of election in Enugu East Senatorial District. According to the Commission's chairman, the election in the Senatorial District earlier slated for Saturday has now been moved to the 11th of March 2023. Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said the postponement in the district which covers six local government areas, became necessary with the murder of the senatorial candidate for the district, Oyibo Chuku. Professor Yakubu said the Labour Party reached out to the electoral body to convey its intention to provide a replacement and go ahead with a poll of the new date. I, these delays by INEC with the logistic issues. Now, voting, uh, the, the counting is still underway and results may not uh, come until maybe Tuesday. But uh, this is a very important democratic exercise. Over 93 million people registered to vote in Africa's most populous country with one of the youngest populations in the world. What happens here in, in this elections? determines really what happens to, to the rest of the continent, Leila. God's servant Yamkala Joseph has been released by God in the year of 2020 to publicly prophesy and speak to the nations of the world. Since then we have seen many prophetic fulfillment and events foretold before they happen in a very accurate and powerful way. If this generation is to believe, they should know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever.